Hello, here we are at the fifth EHPA European Heat Pump Forum taking place in uh, Milan, uh, Italy, and I'm here with Andreas Bangeri from Heliotherm. Yes. Uh, Andreas, many thanks for uh, agreeing to do the interview. Could you maybe just first tell us a little bit about your company? What do you do? Okay, our company is located in Austria. Mm -hmm. We're uh, in the area of uh, Tyrol and close to uh, between Innsbruck and Kufstein, mm -hmm. and we are manufacturing and developing uh, high efficient heat pumps. Mm -hmm. And one of the areas you have a particular interest in is uh, this is smart heat pump technology. Um, first of all, can you maybe just say, what do we mean by that? Because we hear a lot about it. Yeah, smart heat pump, nowadays everything is smart. But uh, you have to say, or I have to say that today, nowadays, heat pumps are uh, making uh, hot water, domestic hot water, they are for cooling and they are for heating. But in the very end, uh, what we are looking for the future, we are looking for smarter heat pumps, meaning that the heat pump is connected with the internet and uh, getting uh, in connection with uh, smart meters, with smart grids, but also with photovoltaic. Uh, in the very end, uh, we need and we have then uh, smart uh, customers, meaning that the heat pump is working when the, uh, when the electricity bill is very low. And uh, because with the smart metering, you get every 15 minutes a new electric rate. And therefore, we need new technologies uh, in case, uh, in this case, we have uh, smart heat pumps. So you basically take out the human factor to make uh, consumers smart, if you like. Exactly, exactly. Uh, what we're looking is with the new technologies, with uh, internet, with, Intel, uh, with new controller technologies, uh, also with the weather report for the next days, we find out when the electricity will be low, and especially in combination with photovoltaic, mm -hmm. we will provide the heat of the house and sanitary hot water and cooling at this time when the, when the bill is very low, so that the, that the customer has in the very end a very high efficient technology in his house. You said um, in the future, what are we talking about there? We're talking about one year, we're talking about five years, we're talking about ten years. What is the time frame? The time frame is very short. Uh, actually, we are right now in the field testing and we think that in uh, 2013, by next year, we will supply this as a standard. You also mentioned uh, photovoltaics. Um, very often it's sort of seen as an either or, either PV or um, heat pumps. How can the two work together to, to the mutual benefit? The PV is a very, very perfect uh, uh, combination with a heat pump because uh, you can uh, redu you reduce the electric, uh, uh, electric bill uh, if you use your own PV uh, electricity for running the heat pump. It is a perfect combination for the future and actually it is, uh, it is the technology what I believe it will be holding up for the next uh, 15 to 20 years. What about those uh, consumers? We already talked a bit about them. Very often you hear them say um, heat pumps are expensive, they are difficult to install, then they cause you problems. Now you want to also convince them to use photovoltaics. What is sort of your message to the end consumer? How can we convince them that this is really the way forward for them? The real uh, background of everything is called near zero emission. This is what we're working for. This is what we're doing all the day. We're working for technologies which brings to the consumer near zero emissions, near zero emission houses. This is what we are going for and this is what we are standing for. And I think with the technology, what we will provide in next years, we will be very close that the customer